everyone, I'm just uh, doing another brain detox and uh, tackling masturbation. Um, overall, I had a really good day. I uh, it was a healthy day. Um, I got a lot of work done, and I wasn't so distracted. Um, things were happening around me, and I didn't even acknowledge it. Um, but on interesting note, uh, yesterday, I'm sitting at the lights and I'm about to turn and to go get some drinks and uh, to go get some Pepsi and soda pop for myself, um, or carbonated water, so to speak. Um, and this guy, he was wearing gray sweatpants and they were uh, hugging the bottom of his leg um, like they were past his butt. His butt was sticking out. He had gray shorts on. Uh, he had a, a sweater on. And he just, tattoos were all over his face. And he was really like, like, tight. Like, it, like what I mean is, like, it's almost that, like, he had a shield around his whole body. Like a force field. And, like, you went in there, he'd kill you. Like, kind of like he had that atmosphere feeling. And I'm sitting at the lights, and I was like, should I tell him about Jesus? This is the first time I've ever witnessed out to a complete stranger. And it might be strange, but uh, he said, uh, he said to me, uh, I, I openly started the conversation, I'm like, do you know Jesus? And he sat there, he looked back at me, puzzled, and he walked across the street. And as I was going the same way, I've asked them, he goes, who's Jesus? I'm like, Jesus is the one true king. And he did something weird, like, I'm going to try to describe it with my hands, but it's hard to describe it with words. He just kind of went, like, something like this, and I didn't understand it. I said, well, I have a wonderful day. Um, and later on, there was a beggar woman. She was begging for money. And uh, again, I didn't look at them with sexual sin in my heart. Um, or sexual lust in my heart. And uh, as I was, uh, as I was observing the situation, um, she's like, hey, do you, do you, do you have a smoke? I'm like, no. And instead of walking by to say no, I, I got down on my knee and like looked into her eyes and said, but you really don't need to have a smoke, do you? You really want to be free. And she puzzledly looked at me and it was like she almost wanted to answer and somebody gave her a cigarette. And I walked away. And uh, unfortunately, when I was in the store, somebody kept rushing me, and uh, I lost my temper and said something I shouldn't have said. But uh, I owned it shortly afterwards and asked for forgiveness. And hopefully, I'll be better next time. But afterwards, um, I went home. That person was gone. That guy was gone. And, uh, but that guy was walking, walking home. I see him. And I, I didn't even think about saying anything. I didn't even have courage. But it seemed like his force field was down. Maybe it was when I talked about Jesus. Maybe it wasn't. But, anyways. <laughs> I am going to be reading Psalm 1, verse 3, Psalm 23, The Lord is thy shepherd, because um, he does comfort me. He does lead me to green pastures, and he's always with me. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be my battle thought to handle masturbation and to not look at others, but to look to the Lord himself. All right.
y'all later.